And opening the show, a young woman who, 12,000 miles away, has made a home away from home with the British fans. Ebony Bridges returns after that fabulous WBA clash with Shannon Courtney. She will, of course, want that rematch, but she's got to get past a Beck Connolly, who, for the first time in a long time, is coming into a fight off a full camp. Now, Ebony Bridges has made a big name for herself over here, done it her way. She's been putting the work in, she wants another shot at a world title, but she has to get past the tough Beck Connolly. So our first contest of the night, Ebony Bridges back in action for the first time since that, well, absolute barnstormer against Shannon Courtney for the WBA regular bantamweight world title. As I say, Beck Conley, long being the late notice opponent, has some mileage and some rounds banked now. What has she got to offer if this one goes down the stretch? Schedule for eight. Of course, Connolly coming in a career low, low of uh, 119 pounds. She's only been stopped. She came in about 132, 133 pounds against both Harper Red. and Natasha it's Jones. Pace, this is, uh, well, uh, I'd say more natural weight division for her. Of course, it's been hard work to get down to this weight, which she never has before. And of course, we don't know how that will affect uh, her punch resistance. We know that Bridges can, can bang right a little back. bit. Courtney confirmed that. Just gets through with a, a pushing go, go, right hand as the two out. lock up no, no, with no, just 10 seconds on the clock in round number one. It's what me about the head there. She lets her hands go, but there's no head movement, so it's quite easy to catch. Beck Conley has some success there. How will this one progress into round two? Our opening night of the second week of fight camp. And Naki Fiaz on the long broadcast part of the show. She's just had uh, a close victory over Kevin Balaspino. Left it from Bridges. Just pushing that jab out a bit too much. I have to see her throw it with a bit more snap. A bit more speed in the backhand. The body shots. Bit Conley goes at it. Change of trainer myself. She was with Paddy Fitzpatrick for about eight years. He uh, retired during the pandemic, which it was difficult for her. She felt he would see her rattle. Catches a right hand just on the inside by. Bridges, there is the two lock up. She was trained by Mike Reese and then Andy O'Kane, who has some good credentials. And well, she's just up against it here in the ropes. So she's been working a little bit with Gab Burrows, who, of course, originally put the game plan together for Rachel Ball when she was due to fight Ebony Bridges. So he's a good person to have in her corner tonight. Hey, lovely bloke, Gab. Good action here in the second round. Both letting the level fly. She's getting caught with the right hand down a little bit tall there. Beck Connolly hit the left hook. When she throws the left hook, Beck Connolly, she just leaves her right hand a little low. She's, uh, she's a sucker to a counter left hook. Now, Connolly said to me uh, this morning, she said, I hope she doesn't try and box and, and move and show too much. She said, I'd like her to stand and trade. She said, I know she can punch. She said, but I've got a good chin and this is right up my street. And she's got to get her hands up, Chris. It's keeping far too low, she's letting her shots go. Entertaining second round, Bridges got the better of the last Three. minute or so of that. Three. Shoulders on me. Bridges leads off with a left hook. Bridges don't hold her head, step back, open up. Hold on. Face of Beck Conley just reddened now, trying to faint away into range, but. Bridges isn't responding. Yeah, Callie Reese, when we had her on the show a while back, I won't use the word she used, but she says she has ridiculous strength. Um, and you can see it in there. She really does push herself and force herself onto her opponent. A bit predictable, comes in in straight lines, pushes the jab out, like I said, but she does follow it up, usually with a good, powerful backhand. Yeah, she's perfect sparring for Callie Reese. Statue-wise, style-wise too. Nice right hand Good over the top there from Ebony Bridges. Lands a one-two. Beck Connolly responds just a little wide with these hooks. Up, hands up, chin down. Beck Connolly. 
He's leaving out to try it. A good overhand right from Ebony Bridges. Bring him up. That was a lovely one. Uppercut Chris. Beautiful shot. And she is hurt here. Beck Colony with 50 seconds on the clock. She wants to know it, Chris. Oh, 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 oh. Right hand over the top from Ebony Bridges, and it's all over for Beck Connolly. How oh, she knew, didn't she, when she touched down that it was all over, but the referee was right to give her one more chance and, Goodbye, my man. and smart to step in as quickly as he did. One more clean shot, and that was it. The right hand over the top that I think the writing was just on the wall for her. Well, a great shame for. A young woman who's come in and saved many a, a night for prospects and champions alike. She was given her opportunity tonight, but well, Ebony Bridges has been working hard and perhaps just seeing some of the fruits of her labour. I wonder what Shannon Courtney and Rachel Ball would have made of that. It was stand. impressive. It was, uh, it was a slow first round, I must say. She's pouring that jab out, like I said, and uh, got caught a couple of times, but that was a lovely. I think it was the right uppercut there. Beautiful shot, picks it so well. She can definitely punch. Here we go, and that big overhand right. You see, she felt that on the jaw as she well, did, the way she, she was did. moving her mouth too. I think that was the follow up. And oh, she misses with the uppercut. It's, it was that overhand right that yeah. started it all and caused the damage. And when she got up, she just looked just one and she didn't look like she wanted to be there. And the ref done exactly the right thing there. That, that was enough. Um, but good performance from Bridges, and she'll be looking, no doubt, at trying to get back in there with Courtney. Be very interesting to see how that round robin plays itself out. Looking at the, the rankings, Yelena Munoz, Juliana Villa, Mariana Juarez, Maria Cecilia Roman, of course, Dina Thorsland, newly crowned WBO champion from about a month ago, now two weight world champion in the mix as well. All of those to come, and all of those far more experienced than the women that you're watching here in the ring, and of course, Shannon Courtney and Rachel Ball, too. So a saga to play out for both of them, but another win for Ebony Bridges, who is all smiles. Let's head over to your MC with the official result. David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kieran McCann calls a halt in this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 22 seconds of round number three. Your winner by RFC, Ebony, the Blonde Bomber. So another win for Ebony Bridges. She moves to six and one with three knockouts to open the show here. Fight Camp 2021, and there is plenty of heavyweight action still to come.